This is the problem we're dealing with. We hurt. We human beings feel pretty unfairly treated. Because we are born into a world so arranged that the price that we pay for enjoying it that is to say for having sensitive bodies is that these bodies are at the same time because they are sensitive capable of the most excruciating agonies isn't that a nasty trick to play on us what are we going to do about it? this is the problem so then when the buddha says the cause of suffering is desire trishna is our word thirst and may be translated desire in a very general sense or perhaps better craving clinging grasping something like that He is saying now I'm going to make this suggestion you suffer because you desire Now supposing then you try not to desire and see if by not desiring you can cease from suffering Or you can put the same thing in another way You can say to a person it's all in your mind There is nothing either good or ill but thinking makes it so And therefore if you can control your mind you've nothing else that you need control For example you don't need to control the rain if you can control your mind if you get wet it's only your mind that makes you think it's uncomfortable to be wet A person who's got good mental discipline can be perfectly happy wandering around in the rain You don't need a fire if you've got good mind control because if you've got ordinary bad mind control when it gets cold you start shivering that's because you're putting up a resistance to the cold you're fighting it but don't fight it relax to the cold in other words this is a matter of mental attitude and then you'll be fine always control your mind this is another way of approaching it you see now then as soon as the student begins to experiment with these things he finds out that it's not so easy as it sounds not only is it very difficult not to desire not only is it very difficult to control your mind but there's something phony about the whole business and this is what you're intended to discover that when you try to eliminate desire in order to escape from suffering you desire to escape from suffering you are desiring not to desire in other words i'm not being merely playing with logic i'm saying that a person who is escaping from reality will always feel the terror of it it will be like the hound of heaven that pursues him and he's escaping in a way even when he's trying not to escape by making the experiment not to desire or the experiment to control your mind thoroughly this is the first step to understand this you must go through that or some equivalent of it so as to come to the point where you see you are involved in a vicious circle that in trying to control your mind the motivation the reason for which you were doing it is still clinging and grasping there is still self protection there is still lack of trust and love 